Welcome to this tutorial on Soundtrack Pro. This is a basic tutorial on how to use Soundtrack Pro for sound effects and music. And we're going to start this with some file management. So if you already have a folder made for this project, you're good to go. But I'm going to go on an external drive connected to my machine and make a new folder. And as always, we're going to date it. Tutorial Soundtrack Pro. So in this folder, I'm going to save my project file. And just like Final Cut Pro, your project file is saving any of the arrangement that you make on the timeline is not actually saving audio files. So if we go into Soundtrack Pro Preferences, just like with Final Cut Pro, we can set up our recording location rather than scratch this. So as of right now, it's, it's not set correctly, so I would choose this. And this would be if I'm recording any audio, it will be saved to this folder. And I'm going to say open, and now anything that I record will go into the correct drive. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing much recording, I just wanted to do that quickly. And now we have in our finder a project file, but no recording unless we were to record something. And Next, we're going to go through using the browser area here. So if it starts up with the browser open, you can click to the search tab and it's down in this bottom right hand corner of the screen. And you can go through sound effects or music beds or instruments, or genres. Never really used the descriptors all that much. And custom, I guess you can make your own. Uh, what I do like to do is use the search tool. So if I know I need a school bell, I start typing school, and here is our school bell sounds. So if I single click, it'll audition. If you double click, it opens in a brand new view. Turn this off. Opens in a brand new view where you see a single track. So this is the single track view. This is the multi track view. And tracks can contain audio clips and it'll play back from left to right um, in time. So if you wanted to stack multiple audio clips on top of each other, you could do that. Um, so a simple way, let's say we like this sound. We double click it, it opens in track view, and I'm going to use this in my project. So I'm going to say File, Save As, and I'm going to change this from Core Audio File to AIFF. AIFF is uncompressed audio. And I'm going to change it to the, dr the drive and the folder that I made in step one. It retains the file name. You can name it something different if you'd like. And we're going to say Save. Now you'll see in your Finder window, we've just saved this. AIFF file, if I spacebar, preview it, that's where it would be. Um, another way that you could do this, I'm going to close this file, close, and now here is our multi-track. If I wanted two school bells to, let's say, play at the same time, we wanted to kind of duplicate them. Take this one, I'm going to take this one, and they're going to play right on top of each other. If this ever happens, you've just created a loop and it'll keep looping unless you click the little arrow and hit the delete button. Uh, you want to click very precisely on the triangle and hit play. So these are two bells on top of each other. Or you could build a song, let's say. I'm going to delete these and we'll go into music. Actually, we'll go into instruments. Uh, drum kit. If you look here, it's going to give you your tempo and key, depending on if it has a pitch like a piano. Um, you want the keys to match, you want the tempos to match. So if I grab something at 110, and play it, and then I could duplicate this, Command D is duplicate, and that would loop it a bunch of times. And then let's say we wanted to add a piano at 110, so we got to unselect drum kit and grab a piano, so let's see if we can find something simple at 110. We can search 110. 
good for piano. Let's try bass. Here's something I want then. So I take that, crank it up, and duplicate it. And duplicate this one more time. And now if you play these two back to back, they'll match because they're the same. They'll match because they're the same tempo. So um, let's say we wanted to create our own song like that, and then get this into Final Cut Pro. So now that you have your arrangement here, the bass was a little loud, I'll turn that down, leave the drums up a little bit, and say file. And this time instead of saying save, we want to export what we have. Um, one last thing, before we do that, by default, for whatever reason, Soundtrack Pro starts in surround sound. So if you go down to the submix, it's going to be in 1.6 surround sound. We want it to be in stereo 1.2. And now it'll export so you only get left and right audio. Now we will go into our file menu and say export. And your settings should be set to your master mix. We're exporting an AIFF file. Nothing's happening after the export. And we're going to date to 19. Call the song. And say export or enter. And now it's exporting. Combine both these tracks into a new file that you'll see in your finder. And here is our song. If I spacebar preview it. And there's our loop, and we are rocking. So in our folder that we made in the first step, we have a project file that saved all of our arrangement and then we have the audio file that we file exported and we also have the sound effect that if you double click it opens in track view and you can save as an AIFF file. Now we're going to bring these into Final Cut Pro. So if we click into Final Cut Pro and I can file, save this project as, go into our G drive and here's our folder, 2.19.13, this is FCP. And we're also going to set up our scratch disk. So, system settings and set, and we're going to go into G Drive and tutorial and choose it and say OK. That way, if we were to render anything, it would now go into our render files folder. Or, I'm sorry, audio render files folder since we're only working with audio. But here's our Bonaco Pro project file, and then everything that gets set up when you set your scratch disk. Here is our Soundtrack Pro project file, the song that we exported, and again, the audio file, you double click and say File Save As, and we're saving it as an AIFF file. So now we want to bring it into our Final Cut Pro sequence. You can go into the File menu and go in Import Files, or if you notice, Command-I, so Command-I brings up the same thing. And now we can go into the folder where we sent everything, and I can click the song and I can command click school bell exterior and that will select two consecutive or not non-consecutive files choose it and now here's our two AFF files and you can bring that to the timeline if you wanted to you could stack them on the timeline uh, another little thing with audio will bring up show audio waveforms so we can see the audio and I can spacebar play it here's our school bell and our song, school bell and song. So um, that's kind of the round tripping of using Soundtrack Pro to either export or find um, different files and save them into a folder and then importing them into Final Cut Pro.